Today, we're excited to announce the launch of our CodeGen AI tool within Pipedream itself. This means you can now generate code using our custom Pipedream trained AI. This AI has been trained on the entire set of Pipedream documentation regarding Node.js code steps. On top of that, we've also trained it on the entire set of API documentation with a thousand plus apps that we integrate with. That means you can generate code steps on the fly that's not only aware of the pipe dream internals of how to create components, but also trained on all the documentation from the various APIs that we integrate with. This will kickstart off any integration you're building with Pipedream. Let's go through a quick demo of a couple examples that I've actually run into the past day that have been extremely helpful for me. Let's start off with a basic processing example. So in this case, we're getting customers from a database. In your case, it could be Google Sheets, uh, Notion, Airtable, and anywhere. And we have a list of customers that have a name, phone, email, website. And let's pretend my task is to get all the URLs from a given, given object like this. We'll make a brand new code step and we'll use a node action. And instead of writing it all by hand, we're gonna use AI. And I'll show you how simple this is. So we just literally prompt extract all URLs from an object. Like, and remember, Pipedream is aware, this AI is aware of the Pipedream scaffolding for Node.js, and it's also aware of things like props and step exports. So it's already trained on the knowledge of how to build with Pipedream, you just have to prompt it. So in this case, it generated all this code from literally one, two, three, four, five, six words. And let's click this button down here to use the code directly in our code step. Awesome. So you can see it generated, it's using a uh, object prop. So it generated an object field for us to input data into. We can construct an object by hand, but here we wanna use the, the get customer step. So we'll test this and we'll see if AI is really that magical. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> it returned all the URLs from the object. This task used to take a non-trivial amount of time to write some kind of recursive function to actually extract URLs from any given object. But here we have a really simple prompt, extract all URLs from an object, and it will actually work. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. Good job, AI. Please do this. It'll help us improve our responses and make this AI even better over time. But let's take it a step further. So I told you that they are, this AI is aware of props, is aware of step exports, but it's also aware of component structure. I'm going to the generate modal again, and I'm going to extract URLs from the object, but also please include a name, version, key, and type fields so I can publish this code as an action. And it's aware of what an action is and what those fields are. So that way you can reuse this code as a private action on your Pipedream account rather than having to retype it over and over again or reprompt it over and over again. So you can see it created the key, the name, version, and type fields which are required to make a code step publishable to your account. So now we can just click use this code to inject it into the builder. And then we can click test one more time so that way the system refreshes and we can actually open this and publish it to my actions. Look at that, it saved the version, awesome. So now we can go in here and we can actually go to my actions and look at that. The extract URLs is now reusable uh, <laughs> over and over again across many different workflows. Not only is this AI aware of Pipedream specific constructs like props, uh, components or step exports, it's also aware of all of the APIs that Pipedream can integrate with. So let's take this example of uh, customer records and let's populate a Notion database using these records. So we can search for any app within the Pipedream integration platform and we can use the AI with it. So let's click on use AI with Notion. Now the AI is specifically going to generate components that work with the Notion API. So let's go ahead and get started with, uh, let's go back up to our customer list and copy the path to our customer list. And then we can use it down below. So let's tell this AI about this data. Given a list of customers 
with the properties of name, email, and website from, and we're gonna paste in the path to that data, then we're going to tell it where this data should go. Create a new Notion database entry for each customer. And in Notion, in Notion databases, you have to define the field types. So if we look at our nation, if we look at our Notion database quickly, we can see that the title is name and the email website are regular text fields. For each customer with the name as the title and the email and website as normal text fields in the database. All right, so this should tell Pipedream to generate a Notion component that will go ahead and iterate through our customer list and then make a database entry for each one of these customers using the name, email, and website properties on those customer records. And you can see here it's generating a whole slew of code. Um, and then one, one small thing here, we need to actually use our database ID. Actually, this is a great example to use Edit with AI. So we're gonna use Edit with AI and then also say include a database ID as a prop on the component. We'll make it very clear, Notion database ID on the prop. So this should keep the code exactly the same, but hopefully just add a prop and wire it up to the API request. So there's the database ID prop, and it's accepting a string, good, good, good. And then it will generate the same code again, um, but hopefully this time it will actually inject the database ID right there, we can see it, great. So we need to find our database ID. This is kind of a bit of a Notion um, specific problem, but if you go over here to Notion, you can find the database ID by clicking copy link. And then opening that link, you'll see this string of characters right here after your Notion workspace name in between the query param. That right there is your database ID, which was easier to find, but that is how it goes. So we'll use this code that we generated, and now we have a database ID and a Notion account connection. So I'll connect my Notion account. I'll use that database ID we just pasted, and we'll test this step. And if all goes well, we should be able to go over to our Notion database and see the results in real time. And we have a success, we have a success message coming back. Let's go back to our Notion database and look at that. It has all the customer records injected into the database and we didn't have to write any code. That is amazing. This AI will truly 10X your speed to develop any kind of integration because the API docs are read by the AI, understood by the AI, and it leverages Pipedream serverless workflows to build out these pipes between services. So this is amazing. This feature is being actively iterated on, so please expect some changes to the UI here and there. We're gonna be releasing new things like threading and remembering past conversations to re easily reuse code that you've already generated before, and a slew of other improvements including accuracy. And for those who don't know, you can interact with a different version of our AI called Pi within the Pipedream community Slack. It also produces code, but it is not as high quality as the code you'll see here. Pi is really good at answering general Pipedream questions like architecture, what a, work, what a workflow is, what a source is. I hope you found this useful. Let us know if you have any feedback here in our Pipedream Slack community, or just send us an email at feedback at pipedream.com. Have a good one.